good day one and all. My name is Kathy and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of the Scrap and Crafty Gardener. Last night I had a, a video pop up on my feed as recommended to me and that I had never seen before. And my goodness, if you guys haven't heard of Iced Images, um, she's a creator who does a lot of five by seven cards and she has some amazing different uh, fun shapes and fold techniques. You've just got to check her out and I will link her below and with the a link to the episode that inspired this. She had what she called a mini fan f card. Um, and this is what I made a sample this morning, just trying it out. This is amazing. Um, I'm going to try and make this as quick as I can, but the process involved can be a little complicated, so I've tried to write it down on scratch notes for me. I was going through my papers yesterday, and I got a stack, like I mean probably three feet tall, of miscellaneous um, cardstock and papers uh, in 12 by 12 size that I got at a garage sale several years ago, and I was just going through it, and I found this beautiful uh, floral butterfly paper. And I also found the paper for the card I'm going to be making today. I'll show you. This was a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. And it looks like I have a glare. I'm sorry about that. Um, it's got icing, cupcakes, chocolate, sugar. And I thought this would make a great birthday card. So I have all my papers cut out. And I chose this pastel purple cardstock. Um that I got at Joann's, I think, last month. And that inspired me to get out a die cut that I have from Spellbinders that I have not used yet. Let's see, where did I put the... Oh, here it is. This was the um, Boolicious Fall Cupcake. It was a large die of the month for September 2023, and I haven't used it. I'm not going to make a Halloween cupcake. I just wanted the Halloween images, or the cupcake images. So that's what we're going to be cutting out today, and I'm going to start with those. And I have my uh, Anna Griffith, Griff in. I want to call her Griffith. I think of that Melanie Griffith, the actor, when I say Anna. And I'm just going to scrap a white cardstock, and I'll put this on the back since it's got a little smudge. And I'm just going to put all these on and get it die cutting while we work on assembling the card. One of these, this one that has the little polka dots on the icing, I'm going to cut one out with the polka dots and then I'll have to cut again without the polka dots. And we'll just run this through and then we'll get started on the card. Okay, it's running right now. Okay, and I'm just going to pick up this one and run that through again. I'm just going to leave everything on. And then we can stop with that. Now for our card, I'm going to make another five by seven card. And I've got these, this measures, it spit out the back. I forgot to catch it. Sorry about that. This measures 10 inches by seven inches. I creased it at the five inch mark, folded it in half and scored it with my bone folder. Now I need to get out my cutter and a ruler. Because on your card, you're going to be cutting the front. So I need to make a little mark here from the fold to three inches. I need to make a little mark on my card. Is it three inches? See, I'm confused already. Yep, three inches. It just seemed like it was too much, but it's not. I made a little mark at the three inch line. And now we're going to cut. From that three inch line to the very corner of the card. So I just want to make sure these line up with my cutter. And we cut that corner off and we set this aside. Okay, now we have 
a piece of four inch by six inch cardstock, and we need to cut this from corner to corner. Doesn't matter which corner you choose. Make sure that the corners match up. It's not, oh, it's, kind of, it's not imperative that these line up unless you want your corner to show. Uh, like it shows on here, but I covered the end with a sentiment. And I'm going to cover that corner again today with the cupcake die cut. So those pieces are done. I'm just going to set them up here. Now we have two pieces of four and three quarter inch. One is staying whole. In fact, we can glue that down right now. That's going inside the card. Let's get this done. You can use any glue you like. And we just kind of want to center that. And however you center this is kind of going to show you the edge of your card too. You want everything to line up with that top corner. And I'm just going to set this on here to dry for now. Just a little weight on it. Okay. And then now the other piece, we're going to measure two and three quarters inch from the top left. And, oh, I guess I just lost my pen. Is that what's on the floor? Nope. Okay, pen, there you are. Two and three quarters, which is here. And we're gonna slice from that mark to the bottom corner. Okay, I guess I really didn't need that. Now this piece goes right here. I'm trying this out. The first time I cut out all the pieces and assembled it when I was all done, but I got the pieces confused. So this way I wanna do it. I see I want that top corner to kind of line up there and then be fairly straight on the sides. All right, so we've got that. That's our card in progress so far. Now we have a three and a half by five and a half piece of purple, and we're just gonna slice it in the middle. And we'll save that purple strip. I'm trying to get this so it's in the camera lens here. And I'm going to pick this up and put it down in the middle to slice. And we have these two pieces. Now we have a piece of our pattern paper, which measures four and a half by six and a half. And if you have a one-way uh, directional paper, you want it to be up like this is. Uh, otherwise, your print will come out sideways on your pieces. Now you want to measure two and a half inches from the corner and make a mark. And then we're going to cut down to this corner and then we have to do something to the leftover triangle piece here. Okay, now this piece, before we do with the triangle, we're just going to glue this down to the front of our card. So you can do all these cuts at the end if you want to, but this is helping me uh, keep what piece goes where in my mind. Now, on this leftover triangle. We need to measure an inch and a half from here and make a little mark. And then from the bottom point, we're gonna measure up three quarters of an inch and make a mark on the left side. So this is gonna go from that mark and this is where it gets a little 
tricky to cut. I'm going to use a little tool here to line up that point and then slide this over. There we go. This piece you don't need. Now you have this little triangle. Then we have a piece of our pattern paper again, and you wanna cut it three inches by five inches to keep the pattern upright, but we're gonna turn it this way and we need to measure a quarter of an inch in from here. Now on her video, she had you just um, go from corner to corner, but when I did that, my pieces didn't line up. So I did the quarter inch and we're going this way. I'll try and move it up so it's better on camera for you to my mark and straight to the corner. We got those two. Now, this is just a two and three quarter, two and a half by six and three quarter piece of white. That's going on the inside of the card over here. That, so that um, they can write a sentiment on or your message on without it showing on the front of the card. Okay, now I'm done with the cutting, I believe. Now we take one of these big triangles. Oh, which one is it here? This is gonna go this way. So we take the big triangle and the Corresponding, oh, here, which one is it? Well, that is gonna be upset. I have, to, I have to use this piece, but I guess I should have left my corner on there. So let me get another piece. That was um, three by five. So I will cut that again. I'll just make a five inch piece first so they don't waste a whole lot of paper. See, you're gonna learn what not to do. Don't listen to me. Okay, so now we're just gonna cut it corner to corner and see if that fits better. As I said, the cutting is a little complicated in my mind, but I do love the finished mini fan, she calls it, card. Yes, that does fit much better. So we're just gonna glue these two pieces together. And just kind of center that. Sorry, I moved off camera. I tried to get a little closer to my eyes. This is gonna go right here. You want it to go from the corner of your card to somewhere on your card. And this piece is too short. Well, we'll go with it. We're moving it up because we want it to be up a little higher. So watch your, vid watch your video that I'll have linked below so you can get the, oh, I don't need to go up that high with the glue, um, the actual dimensions of the card. Let's see, my glue needs to go leaving that corner empty. We kind of want it to go from the corner of this purple to the corner of this purple, like that. Just leave a little room there, like that. Okay, now we got the, oh, you know why it didn't work? I forgot to put it on the white. <laughs> okay, that's why. 
it was missing the white strip that needed to go behind it. Now it'll be the right size. So, <coughs> pardon me. There we go. Now it'll be the right size to go from the corner to where it needs to go. And I need to leave this corner empty of glue. Oh, even when I'm doing it as I'm getting it done, I'm still messing it up. Yeah, that's that's exactly what needs to happen here. This one, I'm you. she had hers popped up. For on this one, I'm leaving this one flat and I make sure I don't have any glue. Yeah, that's glued down nicely. Now we'll get, okay, there should, here's the white, white strip. The purple strip. And the icing strip. Okay. Well, the purple needs to be a little narrower. Okay. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it here. Yep, that's better. White, purple. And this is going the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> maybe I'll show you this video and maybe I'll put another one on. Oh, these, duh, I can just turn these over. Now it's right. Okay. Now we got it. I guess I'm having several senior moments today. Oh, it was a beautiful day yesterday. Didn't need to wear a coat outside. My daffodils are up and blooming. Uh, all of my outdoor uh, trees, blackberries, grapes, all have buds on them. And then today I wake up to two inches of snow and it's 20 degrees. Now this piece will go right in the middle, just like that. Now this one I do want to raise up just slightly. And I have these 1 8 inch foam strips that I got on Amazon. And I'm going to start down. These are low loft. Put one in the middle. And then just a hair down here. And see, yeah, that'll that'll be right. I want to make sure I stopped enough up here. So I'm just going to put a piece across here. Peel off the backing. Now you could, um, once you got this all together, you could stop here, but I want to do the cupcake embellishment. I, want, I thought this would make a beautiful birthday card especially for someone who loves ice cream. And cupcakes and cake. All right, now we're going to do the cupcake. And hopefully this will go. I'm only using three colors. Now, my die cut, where did I put it? There it is. A piece of scratch paper. I could use my sticky mat for this, but I found that the alcohol inks tend to stain it, and I'm kind of afraid that they might um, cause some long-term damage, I, so I don't want to chance it. Just popping out the cupcake elements.
these metal back on there. Don't want to lose it. See, this is why I cut out two. So you'd have a solid and then the polka dotted on top of it. Okay, now, here we go. For the cupcake wrapper, I'm going to be using my Ohuhu alcohol markers and I'm using E355 Matter Red, which is a brown. I don't know why it's called red, but I guess it's a reddish brown. And I'm just coloring this in. Just like that, nothing nothing fancy. Now, this will go on top of this and I wanna do this darker. So I'm pressing harder and I'm gonna go over it twice. This is just the ridges of the wrapper. I'm gonna go over this twice. Sorry if I was out of camera. Just to make that a little darker and then get my art glitter glue. Turn this over. Oh, come on, glue. I guess this is one of those days. You ever have a day where you think, well, I should have just stayed in bed today. That's kind of how this is feeling. Well, I guess we'll just use the Tombow and use finer dots. Just kind of run it down. Try not to get too much glue on any one spot, though it would dry clear, but it does have a little sheen over and line this up. Oh, forgot to put that piece on. This is where it goes. I don't know what that back piece is for then. Oh yeah, I do. It's the, it's the cupcake itself and then this is the wrapper. So this goes on here. And then this piece, well, okay, goes on top of that. So you've got a chocolate cupcake and a chocolate wrapper. Now, for the cake, I'm going to purple. This is a V287 Purple Mallow, so I need to do the bottom one first. And go over this a couple of times, because I want this inside to be darker. The more you go over it, the darker the color will be. And then the top, I'm just gonna go over once. And this gets lined up on here. And this goes right on top of that cupcake. Well, I assume it does. That's where I'm putting it. And you have a little bit of that showing. Got a lot of glue there. Oops. There we go. Now you need a white scrap piece because you gotta glue all of these together. So I'm just gonna take a piece like this that comes to a point at the top. And I'm gonna glue this right to the back here. Because 
I'm layering up my cupcake now. Now each layer is going to be this purple. I don't know what I got out the pink for, but it was something. And this layer I want to be fairly light, but it can also have some shades of darkness because this is frosting. That will set right in here, which is why I had to get that piece for the back. And oh, I want to put this icing. I'm going to make this one a little darker. I'm just going to cut, scribble on it several times. This I'm going to put right here. Got to get my extra glue off. I'm having a day today. <laughs> now this next piece of cupcake, I want to be darker. <coughs> Excuse me. This one will go get glued right to this spot above here. And then the top layer is going to be light again. With just a hint of darkness on the edge. And that's going to go right there. I think I got my white a little too fat on that side, so I need to trim my white. Oh, come on. I didn't say it's a day. This is going to be a what not to do, Kathy, this messy scrapbooker card, card maker day. Okay. Now I have a little wink of Stella. I'm just going to put a little sparkle on the cupcake. Okay, now gently pick it up. Wipe my fingers, I better do that. I need a wet, wet wipe. I have glue everywhere. Hopefully this card will be worth it. <laughs> I'm hoping so. All right. Now, let's get this back and see how this is going to look here. Oh, that's going to be great. So I'm going to be using some thicker pop-ups just on, like, down here. And one here. Now I'll keep it there. And then from here, and that one layer is going to fall off. Didn't get enough glue on it, I guess. And up the cupcake. because I'm just putting them on the sides where this elevation isn't. It's actually turning out fairly cute, despite all my blunders and mistakes and errors. And obviously needing more glue. I should have, I should have done this part first and let this dry um, while we were putting together the card. But I thought this would go quicker than the card and I could save it till the end. But obviously I was wrong. That's okay. My cats still love me. And I'm sure, I, I hope, my brothers still love me. <laughs> there we go. All right, that will go there. We're going to glue this back down. Oh, 
over. Okay. Now, I do want to put a happy birthday in this corner. And I should have done it before I put it together. But, you know, live and learn. And I have a sentiment uh, that says happy birthday. This was from uh, Joanne Fabrics. It's Hero Arts. I guess it's their brand now. And I'm going to chance it by using a stamp. I'm going to use the Versifying Claire Nocturne. We'll stamp it on here to see if I... So far, I can do it. All right. Hopefully, it comes out on the card. The other day, I did a card with this and messed it up. Oh, yes. I got it. Yahoo! One plus for the day. Oh, that's not a plus. <laughs> All right, let's clear this off before I glue anything else to myself. Now, I do want some little embellishments. And I have these different color um, dots. They're like um, pearl drops. I don't know if I want to do any of these. I think that pale pink looks kind of nice. Well, let's try one. We're just going to go for it. We're going to put one there. And one there. And one there. And then a larger one here. Okay, that's it. That's the card for today. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs> and uh, I'll clean this glue off. I have a little undo that once it dries, I'll take the undo and get that off of there. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And it's not as crazy and messed up as mine is today. Thank you for watching. <laughs>